Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Overland. Overland is a really interesting game. It's uh, developed by Finji and it is right now only available in first access on itch.io. It's a basically a paid alpha where you go ahead and get it and you can download it and you get access to all the new updates. Overland is, it's like a road trip simulator in um, the worst possible way in the post-apocalypse. But it's really good. It's turn-based, kind of like XCOM, and let's get right into it. So we can start a new game. I played a little bit just to make sure everything recorded well, but we'll, we'll start at the beginning because I want to show off everything this game has to offer. Go west, steal a car, find some gas, make some friends. We're going on a road trip. Day one, afternoon. So pretty much everything is randomly generated. Our characters are randomly generated. The people we run into are randomly generated. Pretty much everything's randomly generated. As you can see here, we start with this, who will be our main character. His name is Raimi. You can inspect him. Went to film school, has a hard time believing this is real. Scavenger, search containers for no action cost. Starting party, with you since the beginning, and he has a backpack, which gives him one inventory slot. One additional inventory slot. So the game works on action points, and pretty much everything takes action points. And so, first off, it tells us we need a car. Here's our car that we need, because that one's kind of busted up. So, let's grab some gas. And then let's move this out of the way, because we won't be able to get out. So let's push this dumpster. And we can search for no action costs, due to our special ability. So, ooh, we found more gas. Awesome. So, this person is just a random NPC that we can recruit, or not. Um... There are very few limitations on your recruitment that I've run into, personally. So let's talk to this person. Let's invite him. Hello. I'm Jill. I'll do my best. Let's check out Jill. Jill was a volunteer firefighter. Her visa expired, but it doesn't really matter. She's a quarterback, so she throws things farther than other folks and in the starting party. Very cool. Let's get Jill over here and let's search this car. Equipment is very important in this game. Uh, oh, that's new. I didn't know that was a thing. Hang on, combine. Nope. Oh, okay, that's cool. So this game is constantly getting updates. Like I said, it's basically in alpha right now, but it's a very solid alpha. So here you can see we have a bunch of different options. You know, here's our character with his one action point. This is our inventory. We can store things onto the vehicle, but it can only hold one thing right now because it's a smaller car. So what we want to do is we want to put some gas in it. And put some more gas in it. Oh, okay. So here you can see Jill has no action points. So we go to fill up, and you see her action point blip right here. Highlights, meaning we need at least one action point to do this. So let's fill up the car. Let's get in. Then we want to switch back over to Raimi. Also, get in the car. And when you get in the car, you obviously need to turn it on. And here you can see this is where we can actually escape the map. So we did it. We made it through the very first part of the game. Now this game is tough. It's hard. I've never beaten it. and I've played through multiple sections, but you have to make it all the way across to the west. And these are our enemies. Spooky little fellas. Oh, this is new. Let's take a break. Thanks again for letting me tag along. No problem. 
I'm feeling kind of hopeful. Me too. Where should we go next? So this is our main map, basically. And there's always an option up and an option down. And they give you some kind of information of where you're going. Like here we can see there's gas cans, so it'll be risky, but there should be some fuel here. And down here, it looks like some folk got stranded, could use a hand. So people are really important in this game because the more people you have, the more action points you have, and the more things they can do. And later on, without a big group, you get kind of screwed. Now you can see here this has a three on it, which means it takes three gas to get there. So a lot of the game is about rationing what you have versus what you can do. So we've got our two party members. Let's move Jill here. And let's pick up this bottle. It's basically a ranged weapon. And Raimi, let's have you go this way, and we'll end our turn. Hi. So Jill, let's invite this new friend. No longer a stranger, he is Bobby. I'm sorry, she is Bobby. Persuasive, invite anyone, almost, and Flare, lights up dark items. So Flare is what Bobby starts with. And persuasive is like her special skill. We're honestly not getting a whole lot in the way of awesome special skills. What is this? Ooh, a hat. Yeah, I want a hat. Put it on, Bobby. I don't know what it does, but we got it. And then I guess pick your flare back up. So you can search a lot of different items, and you can pick up a lot of different items. So... Hmm... There's a stick over here that we probably want. That looks like a rock we can probably pick up, which is also important. Let's search here, which costs us nothing. Ooh, we found a machete. So a lot of the weapons are finite in how often you can use them. So like the stick that's over here that we can pick up, you can only actually use it twice and it takes two hits to kill a lot of the enemies. So finding something like a rock, I'm sorry, finding something like a machete is very handy. Now Jill can kill this thing because she can throw this, it deals one damage, he only has one health. And I'll show you what happens when we do that. So the monsters respond to sound. And you could see that they said they heard that when we did it. And a little thing popped up over here. Well, you're probably pretty smart. I'm imagining you can guess what comes out of that. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. I really like the aesthetic of this game. I really like the UI. And I really like that everything costs something. We are low on gas, so we definitely want to try and get more. The cool thing is it doesn't cost gas, as far as I know, on this screen to use the car. And we need to get Bobby in the car. And let's escape. So we picked up a new party member, which is good. More people. Let's get some rest. Thanks for picking me up back there. Sure thing. I feel like someone's watching us. Same here. What's next? Well, now we have some options. I heard a rumor about some useful supplies out here. Or rumor is there's fresh wheels and nasty creatures here. So that's basically saying we can go get a car or we can go get some stuff. I think we need stuff. Our car seems to be doing fine right now. So let's go get some stuff. Hopefully some of that stuff is gas, because we're running low. But yeah, having a good party is definitely important. Ah, uh, these maps are tough. You can only move one square at a time. 
and it's super dark. Hard to tell where you're going at all. Uh, okay. So the road is actually blocked here. We want to make sure we get that out of the way. And there's normally an undo option for when you make a mistake, but not when it's this dark out. I'm not sure why. I don't know what the logic behind that is, but it is what it is. So we want to get this out of the road. So let's go ahead and pull it. And we'll have to pull again. What'd you find, Jill? Ooh, a med kit. That is useful. So there's a generator here, apparently, that's powering things, and that's going to draw their attention. Can we move here? Uh, I want to kill him, but we can't see him in the dark. What do we got in here? Um, I've never seen this before. Board game. Complicated. Maybe you can trade it for something. Interesting. I'd rather have that than a stick. Let's get you out of the way some more. And let's explore a little bit more. So the enemies can only move one square. And I don't believe they can move or attack diagonally. So I think we'll be safe if we move right here. But the game is permadeath, so if you make a mistake, the mistake is made. Eat rock. Some more are definitely going to pop up here. I want to explore some more. What do we got in here? What is that? A toolkit? Can fix cars. Single use item. Okay. So there's a bunch of good stuff here we definitely want to pick up. Get you with the knife. So this is the edge of the map. You want to make sure that when you're moving, you don't accidentally click escape. Because it'll leave your car behind and everybody will come with you. So You hang on to the toolbox for now. Hmm, this is tough. I think a med kit is more important than a board game, even if we can trade it for something really cool later. Because med kits keep you alive. And now we've got a med kit for the car. So we should be good to get out of here. You also want to be careful that you don't accidentally leave with some of your party members outside of the car. Because um, they'll just leave them behind. An interesting thing you can do, though. So it took him two action points to get over here, right? And what if you needed to leave this turn? Or you needed to get him inside the car? You can actually, with any of your characters that still have action points, reach out and pull them into the car. And then Jill can cut the car on. And we can get the heck out of here. We got some good stuff, no question, but we're pretty much out of gas. Tank's almost on empty. You are not wrong. Same. I miss home. Right? Well, where to now? Ah, good. So here would have been more items, but we don't have enough gas to get there. So we definitely want to go here and get some gas. And the good thing is, is with two machetes, we can probably just guard one person while they run and get gas. Depends on how active the monsters are. Not too active. So, let's get Bobby out here. And we'll get Raimi out here. And let's go ahead and pick this up. And I bet, yep, we can go ahead and take one out which buys us some time, but not a lot. 
So let's go ahead and drop this on the ground right by the car so we can get it easier. Hmm. A lot of this game is resource management, but it's really... It's good. It's good resource management. It's not annoying resource management. So we want Jill to get up here and siphon some gas out of this sucker. How much do we get? One. Well, that's not a lot. Let's go ahead and kill you. Which will do a little bit of damage to our knife, but not a whole lot. And then hopefully we can get some more fuel out of this car. How much gas? Two? That's pretty good. And one of the tough calls is... One of the tough calls to make is, when do I leave? Because there's lots of gas around here. But the enemies just keep coming. So you've got to be careful. Let's go ahead and fill her up. Get just a little bit of gas there. Grab a stick, and we'll defend the car. Pick that up and we'll come back for the knife. It's not very far. Now the spill option is new as well, so I'm guessing that probably pours out gas that we can then set on fire. Put some more gas in the car. And then we're going to try and go back for our knife. It really depends on how badly we get swarmed. So that got us some good gas. Now we're at, what, 8? Yeah, and the car only holds 10. So one of the perks of getting new cars is they can hold more people. And they can uh, hold more gas. So we don't want to move Bobby there or there because then she'll get killed. Let's pick up our med kit. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Turn the old gal on. Whoops, wrong button. So this is almost going to break the knife, but it is worth it. All right, Jill. You kill that guy. We should be good for a little while. We'll go ahead and pick our toolkit back up. We're going to get in the car. We will get out of here just as soon as we can, Jill. Awesome. So that was a pretty successful run. But trust me, the enemies get a lot harder later. A lot harder. <laughs> And see, we almost used up our knife on that. A lot of the enemies later can take three or four hits. And can just be very difficult. So here we're at the very end of the, of the East Coast map. And what that means is we've got to go in and clear out a roadblock. Which uh, can be tough. And they just get harder and harder as we go too. I would like a bigger car because this car holds three people. Don't know why. Uh oh. Um, this is the first time I've experienced fire tiles. Like I said, this game is always making new additions. Also, I don't remember these vending machines. Can we do anything with them? We cannot. I guess we're going to send you in, Jill. Let's go ahead and drop that. Is it going out or is it spreading? Uh oh.
All right, let's kill this guy. Ooh. Uh, that's scary. Let's take him out. And then, yeah, that broke our machete, which is a bummer, but at least we got a stick here. Okay, Jill, let's... Do what now? Why can we throw a bottle at this? I guess we need to break it? That's news to me. Let's give it a shot. Oh, and if we hit it again, it'll probably break. I want that gas. Ah, no, because then... Alright, so the undo function here. Basically, in a lot of maps, not all of them, but in a lot of maps, you make a mistake or decide you don't want to do something, it's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have wasted that action point. We can just undo it. And we can move back towards the car. Oh, I wish there was more stuff for us to throw. And then we can give Bobby that, so we can pass things between each other. And so I'm probably going to have Bobby run up and hit that thing, and then we're going to try and get the heck out of here. Some gas would be nice, but we're pretty good on gas right now. So I'd rather... Oh, beautiful. Let's get the heck out of here. I'd like to search that car, but this is way too scary now. That's interesting, though. I mean, I played this probably a month ago, and there's already a lot of new stuff. Like, I've never seen those hats... Uh, are we driving? Can we not drive through fire? Uh, okay. I've never seen fire before, so I'm not... Oh, good. It went out. Crap. So he moved the car. Hmm. So this is where greed can be bad. Because Raimi can search things for nothing. So I could have him get out here, search that, see if there's an item there worth having, and then get back in. And then I could have somebody else drive away. But his items are really useful. Ah, it's too risky. Let's leave, take what we got, and let's get out of here. So yeah, we've made it through the first map. There's only like six left, and they just get progressively and progressively harder. Five left, excuse me. Progressively harder, worse enemies, and I love it. I think this game is really, really fun, and I, you know, we're probably not going to survive our trip, but we are going to get as far as we can. A short break should be okay. I didn't think we'd get past that roadblock. That was one of the easier roadblocks, actually. I'm exhausted. Well, you're sitting right there behind the car. <laughs> Where should we go next? I don't know. Let's see what our options are. There's some traders up in Fairwater. A car in good shape. Car parts. Or another person. Hmm. You can see they all take a lot more gas now, too. Car parts could be good. Depends on what kind of car parts we could run into. More people would be nice, because we can trade out our people, but then it counts as us abandoning them, which I feel really terrible about. Let's see what kind of car we can get here. See if we can get a bigger, better car. If not, maybe there's some gas, and then we can just get the heck out of here. Ooh, a van. So, we want to get out. And Jill will be our guard, since she's got the most useless weapon. 
let's go ahead and put our stuff over here. Vehicle attachment can absorb attacks. Five empty seats. That's nice. Um, can it not store anything? Oh, I guess it's just because we're out of actions. Oh no, I guess it just can't store things. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and kill him. Then we're going to try and search around a little bit. So what is really important is that we siphon out our gas. Man, we're going to have to leave a med pack behind. That's a bummer. Eh, maybe if we do it perfectly, we won't have to leave anything behind. But the fact that this can hold more people is awesome. Huh, I thought we could search that. Oh well. Did it only siphon out one gas? Am I doing really dumb things and I don't notice it? I'm I'm prone to do that sometimes. Siphon. So, I guess we're spilling gas when we do that. That is also new. Ew. So, yeah, let's pick up our knife. And let's run a little bit. So, we lost a lot of gas doing this, but we're definitely getting a better car for it. Okay, let's move Raimi out of the way. Let's get Jill over here. Alright, Bobby can take this guy out. See now, it just says attack. Because one hit isn't going to kill him. Okay, so Bobby... Ooh, pick up this rock. Take that guy out. Got him. And then we'll pick up our mechanical items. And we should probably get... So this will give us five gas. So that's pretty good. Not great. But not terrible. And yeah, we're going to have to just leave that med kit behind. Which is a big bummer, because we're going to miss that later. Ah, we could run over and get it with Raimi. Then he's just carrying two med kits. Let's get out of here. So yeah, we got a sweet new van. With sweet new van comes sweet new friends. Because it can hold five people, so if we run into two more, we can get two more. Yeah, so let's see if anybody's been left behind here. Takes a lot of gas, though. But then we can get fuel down below. Oh, it's nighttime. I hate the nighttime missions. She's running on fumes. Can you help? So that's one of the best things about this game. Is there are doggos. Let's see what we can get out of this. Nope. Wrong thing. 
I really like the UI for this game. It's intuitive, um, but also just kind of interesting because it. Oh, that ain't good. Uh, that. Oh, uh oh, came out of nowhere. Join me, doggo. I'll call you Chomsky. A loyal mutt. Maybe eight years old. Woof woof. Arf bark. Arf arf. Woof bark. So unless they've changed something, one of the really cool things... Now who do we have selected right now? Dogs can do almost everything that people can do. And they can hold items. So what is that? Arf, arf. <laughs> okay, but they won't tell us what anything is. All right, now let's talk to this person. Ooh, he's got another med kit. What kind of med kit? So, okay, how's that different from our med kit? A single use item. Is the other one not single use? That's fantastic. Hey, stranger. Call me Georgia. Tortured a squirrel one time, trying to find her kid. Searches containers for no action costs, so that's another good one to have. Hmm. So, I know in previous builds of the games, the dogs could attack without having an item. But it wouldn't let us do that just now with Chomsky, so... I don't know if that's not an option anymore. It's kind of a bummer if it's not, because that made the dogs really, really good. So let's move you here, because picking up doesn't cost actions. And then we can sidestep around that feller. Okay, but for real, what what is this? <laughs> is it a dog toy? Cute. Maybe you can trade it for something. Gotcha. Well, that's definitely not on the list of things we have to have, so... You need a new weapon. So, Raimi, go ahead and get in the van. We're low on gas now. Georgia, get in the van. Chomsky. Let's have you grab some stuff. Because I think we're relatively safe for now. Relatively. Uh, here. Have a bottle. I'm worried about stepping off into the darkness where we can get murdered. Uh, go ahead and get in the van. Is that a generator? Oh, so maybe we can siphon some gas out of it. Good. We need gas pretty badly. And then Chomsky can grab the bottle. And then I think we should leave. soon as possible now. Yeah, because it's getting spooky. Yeah, get in the van. And honestly, we're probably just going to have Bobby get in the van, and then we'll fill it up later. Because see, if we fill it up, we'll be in range for an attack. So let's just get in. Let's take the gas with us. What? No. Oh, and it's dark, so we can't undo it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have you get out. No, don't select the van. Pick up the van. Pick up the van. <laughs> Fill up the gas. Pick up our toy. And then Raimi's out of action points. But that's where this comes in so handy. Oh, Chomsky can't do it. 
No. Pull him in. Turn on the car, which costs no action points. And then we escape. So that was a little, little stressful. Stretch your legs, folks. Thanks again for letting me tag along. Don't worry about it. Bark! Don't worry about it. Think you should try to find a gas station or something. Yeah, no kidding. Right? So yeah, that's Overland. Uh, I'm going to continue playing it because I really, really enjoy the game. And so in the next episode, we definitely need gas. We have a lot of equipment and we have a van to put those equipments in. So we have just enough gas to get there. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope you'll join us next time when we go to get some gas. And we'll see you then. Bye.